all right guys so today we'll be talking about this transparent three in multi-functions usb flash drive and this is a very useful flash drive for storing and sharing documents and files from your laptop to your projector to your phones be it android or iOS, vice versa so this is a very useful one for iphone users with low storage space and today i'll be sharing with you the unboxing and review plus how to set this flash drive up so let's get down to business all right before we proceed i would like to say this comes in different rooms so this is the 64 gig room and you can get the 32 you can get the 128 gig room depending on the one you buy right now you can see at the front here it says music video photos contact password touch id yes you can use your touch id to set this guy up if you are using an iphone or an android and at the back there's nothing much there so let's just open this guy up and let's set it up it has no manual if yours comes with manual you can use it to set it up but right now you can see this guy comes with no manual and this is how um it looks like okay so this is this is 4 gig ram it comes with four ports you have here the usb 3.0 which you can use to connect to your computer your laptop and anything that is using usb port um here we have the type c port okay and the next port here we have the iphone lightning port and the last one here is the micro usb port all right so all these ports are very useful right now if you want to set it up on your android phone all you have to do is to plug it in it's very easy just plug it in okay so once you plug it in you are going to see this sign this symbol here which shows that you have a usb connected to your phone as you can see it says issue with wow usb drive just tap to fix it format this usb if you are using it for the first time you have to format it and start using but for me this is not the first time i just have to show you guys so i tap outside here how would you want to use this usb drive so you can just select for extra phone storage or for portable storage that is for transferring files and once you have done with that you can just go to the next page and you can start using it it's very easy to use on android phone but on iOS device it's a little bit complicated so i'll be showing you how you can do that on iOS device like iphone now you need an app to set this guy up if you are using an iphone okay so if you are using iphone 10 downwards like iphone 10 8 7 like this one here once you plug it in you are going to find an app prompt or dialog box that will pop up that you have to you know install an app for this transparent usb flash drive to work so if you put it in your iphone now and it is not popping up like this all you have to do is to go to the settings and configure this manually so let's go to our settings so we are going to configure this manually then you scroll down to general and when you get to general go to the about then you are going to scroll down you are going to see the flash drive name there as you can see here we have the iFlash device hd as you can see you have select that under that you are going to see find half for accessory then you select it and it's going to take you to the app store where you can download the iFlash device app now we select get and we can install it and get it set up so that's just how to set it up so i'm going to show you how you can use it to transfer files between your phone to your laptop and other stuff like that all right guys so it is now on our iphone now let's select open and this is the interface the user interface then you have to select allow access to all photos so you can grant access for this flash drive to operate your iphone storage very well so we select that and now another dialog box up here access contact you select ok another one says access the camera just give it the required permission select ok for microphone select ok to access your apple music and music activities and other stuff select ok the first thing here i would just to do is to go to this icon that looks like book so just select that and that is the user manual that you are going to go through so you have to read this 
so that you can know how you can use this very flash drive very well okay once you go through this user manual all you have to do is to pinch in to see some of this introduction getting started and every other thing and here you can see manual saying it's compatible with iphone and everything that you have there you can see it supports a lot of file types like document like video in iphone which is move and mp3 and other stuff audio and stuff like that so that is just it on the app instruction or the user manual the next one i will ask you to do once you start using this is to go to this get icon here when you select the get icon it's going to take you to the setting of this usb flash drive so you can see the version number the app instruction which is still the manual as you have seen the other time the cache you can clear that cache once you are done with it so that you save you some space and you can see show hidden file if you tap this it's going to show you some hidden files that is just for you once you are done you can start hiding your files in this place so maybe someone just pick up your flash drive and you know use it it is not going to show them all these files so far it is hidden in your hidden files so here is the gesture control and this if you want to use it to set your password here one all right password has been set successfully as you can see now the touch id in case you want to use your touch id to access it you can just tap on this and it's going to ask you for touch id and with that you can set it up here if you want to format it you can select here format locally or format externally and if you want to up to or to date the flash drive you can do that by toggling this on it's already toggled on here apply third party player not set so here is just for you to apply third party app that you are going to use to play your video files or audio files so i would recommend you use the vlc or use any of these other players okay so i prefer vlc and here you have the mac or windows share zamba and you want to select the video quality maybe you want to use it to you know take video shots you can select high medium or low and you're going to save it and if you want it to link up with your icloud you can just select it here and toggle this option on and it's going to link up to your high class so that is it on the settings of this transparent three in multifunction usb flash drive so you select your back button here and you can see you have all these options here here is the app storage of your iphone and here is the device storage as you can see there are some things on this device already i have some videos on this guy i'm going to show you how you can use that now if you want to take some eyes on your iphone to this flash drive all you have to do is to go to your album and it's going to show your album that is your phone gallery and you can shift some things from there and it's going to move it okay just like here now you can see i have a video here and if i want to pick it, pick it to my flash drive i can easily do that okay all you have to do is to just go to this okay let me just go out a bit so if you want to move your files or your folder or your documents from your phone to your device you have to go to this album you select it if it's a video or photo then it will open up your gallery then you go to your video and you select your video or your document that you want to share and you select this option select up here then you tap on it and you're going to see this stick icon okay and you are going to select done you can tap as many as you want but just let's test this one you select done once you are done then it's going to ask you for app storage or device storage now you want to transfer it to this device so you have to select device storage and when you select that it's going to open up the folder where you can save it if you want to create a new folder you can do that and if you just want to post it there on this flash drive you can do that but make sure you make everything organized like opening a new folder and save your things there so let's just paste this guy here and see how it goes so as you can see a dialog box just showed up that this is copying and it's going to copy in no time so once you are done you are going to see the hundred percent beside this move name here okay so that is just how to move it you want to back up you can come here to back up your files you just select backup so it's going to tell you either you want to back up from your phone to this flash drive or you want to recover from the flash drive to your phone or to your device or your computer or whatever you want to use it for okay so that is how to back up and here music it is going to take you to your apple music store or your itunes store 
where you are going to download purchased music or imported music and you can save it on your flash drive okay that is all on music storage now if you want to use the recorder which you can see here you select the recorder option here and you can record directly into the flash drive okay so when you select this it's going to start recording whatever you are saying as you can see it is recording my voice right now so once you are done with that just press your pause it's going to start I just recorded my voice now once you are done with the recording you can select this download here and it's going to save it on your flash drive directly so that is how to use the record uh, option there now on the camera side you select camera and this can record anything right at the front of your camera so once you do that just similar to the voice recording once you are done with that you save it up and that is how to use it now when it comes to the video also you can do the same thing it's just similar to that that camera is for snapping maybe you want to shoot you just take shots and here is the video one where you can do your video stuff and save it up on your device also you can use this guy to play your videos or your audios directly without you know moving it to your phone okay let's just open this eye up and you can see here are the videos that i've stored on it uh, there are a lot of them it moves a lot and it it has a lot of you know space so that you can store your stuff so let me just play one of it for you guys to see how it works so that is it on how to use and set up your transparent 3 in one multifunction usb flash drive so the review of this flash drive right now is that this flash drive is a bit slow when you are trying to move some information or move some uh, files or share some things on heat but when you want to use it to play music or play any other stuff or your videos it works very well so with that being said will i recommend this to you yes you can get one right now if you want to get it here in nigeria is about nine thousand naira. you can get it in stores or on jumia you can check down in the description for links and that is all on iflash device hd or transparent three in multifunction usb flash drive and if you have any question please drop it down there in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i remember about the motayo and i will see you on the next one please stay safe Remember to subscribe. Bye for now. Peace.